Hey guys, I want to give you some uh, simple trading math. This is going to be for the people who um, need to understand that sometimes trading is counterintuitive because, you know, everyone tells you you have to buy when it's low and sell when it's high. Uh, but in the trading world and what we're showing you how to do, it doesn't really matter what you purchased your Bitcoin at to participate in the program or you start trading. And let me show you what I'm, what I'm thinking about here. So one, one Bitcoin is going to be whatever it's currently valued at. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't care because I expect it to go to 19, 20, 25, 30, 40 thousand dollars. You know, where it goes is where it's going to go. I don't have any control over that. And if it goes all the way down to 10 or it goes up to 19, it doesn't matter. And my asset, so I've bought some, let's say I've bought some coins, whether it's one coin or 100 coins, I have an asset. And so for me to wait to use my asset, before it gets to the point where I sold, where I first initially bought it at. So let's say I paid when it was at the high. Let's say I paid and I jumped in at $19,000 and I'm waiting for it to get above that before I start using my asset to start trading with. I don't want to buy, sell, and trade because it seems counterintuitive to go ahead and start selling my coins when I bought it at such a high rate. And now I'm trading and selling at eleven and $12,000. That doesn't seem to make any sense. So let me show you why this makes sense. Why no matter what you bought it at, it's still smart to, to start trading your Bitcoin. So let's say you have this stack of coins over here. Your goal is to make this stack as big as you possibly can because it's going to get up here. It's actually going to rise. So what you want to do is you want to use your asset on the trading environment. You want to use your asset in the trading world to go ahead and take all these coins and you'll sell them at whatever current value is. It doesn't matter when you have a good sell order. Go ahead and sell it. And then what happens is in the transfer, when you, when you sell the coins and then buy them back, you will have more coins. And then when you, and when you do it again, you will have more coins. And when you do it again, you will have more coins. The idea is to gain more coins. The idea isn't to be buying, selling, and trading based on what you purchased it at. And so if you wait for it to get up here, you will lose all of the opportunities to gain more coins. And that's what you want to do during this time. So value will rise and fall, and it doesn't really matter. It would matter if you were going to cash out. If you, know, if, if you went ahead and paid $19,000 a coin and you cashed out, and you went ahead and bought a house with it, and it's only at $10,000, you lost money. But in this scenario, you want to start trading and continue to trade with your asset. The coin value has nothing to do with the tradeability of the coin and the ability for you to continue to grow your coins. Hope that makes sense to you. This is uh, Trading 101. See you on the next one.